Tales from the Hanging Tree, Imprints of Tragedy, a Word Crafter Anthology. Marilla shut down the computer and the museum. She closed the front door after her and locked the top bolt. She gave the property a glance, making certain everything was as it should be. When she turned to walk the cobblestone path, she noticed that the weather had changed. The wind gusted, the trees bustled, a dense fog rose from the tree line and encapsulated the surrounding land, including the museum. It perplexed Marilla. The weatherman said nothing about a storm. This Halloween was supposed to be one of the nicest we've had in a hundred years. Nicest in 175 years. A woman's voice floated over nature's noise. Soon, a figure wearing Marilla's period dress walked out of the mist and onto the cobblestone. I should know. I was there. The night Josiah King murdered my husband, daughters, and myself. Marilla shook in fear. This is impossible. You're dead. And I'm not the only one looking to avenge my death. What are you talking about? I have been waiting for this anniversary. I whispered into your ear to invite founding family's descendants to this gathering for one sole purpose. Murder one Josiah King. But he's dead. He was killed by the Texas Rangers and buried there. Marilla pinched her arm. Wake up. You're not actually talking to a hallucination, Marilla. Ida walked to her descendant and slapped her across the face. Are you talking to me now? Marilla was stunned, but resolute. No, I will not help you kill Justin. He is an innocent man. We have no designs on harming Mr. Koenig. We? He's not the reincarnation of Josiah. His son is. With her confession, Ida rushed Marilla. Tales from the Hanging Tree, Imprints of Tragedy. Buy your copy through Books to Read. <laughs> 